there used to be a brigadier that uh, owned a, quite a big stretch of uh, river uh, on the Wye and uh, I think he must have been fairly friendly with the chief constable because the next thing uh, they decided to organise a, a crime patrol on the Wye for catching uh, salmon poacher and they were losing oh, hundreds and what they were doing, they were putting gill nets right across the river and just catching everything that come up. There was a few that did it in Tintern, but the main come from uh, Dorset. And, uh, you know, it was almost getting industrial. So uh, we decided to um, set up, or we decided that we set up a poaching squad. And, uh, of course, the brigadier was very happy with that, so... Uh, he took us down to the army camp and fitted us all out with camouflage gear and all the rest of it. And uh, night sights were just cut, the army were just starting to use them then. And uh, he used to uh, occasionally, I don't know where he got them from, but uh, we'd end up with some real good night sights that you could firstly watch everything on the river, you know. Which was fantastic because you could watch the deer and the, uh, everything that was moving about there, you know that night. I remember I wasn't very popular one night. Um, a certain sergeant, you know, uh, used to run the squad and uh, we found this net and as I leaned over to uh, release the net, my radio <laughs> slipped out of my pocket and went plop straight into the river. <laughs> so uh, when I told the sergeant we'd lost it, he wasn't very happy at all. <laughs> he said, we've got to find it. He said, uh, you're going to have to get back in the river and find it. <laughs> so uh, eventually he managed to find this radio and got it out. Of course, it was actually sodden, you know, the water was running out, I think. So. Um, so he said next day, he said, you better take that up to the radio workshop. We used to have our own workshop at Chartham. We used to repair the radios like. So uh, I took it up there and uh, <laughs> oh, the other guy that used to repair it, he, uh, he said, well, what happened to this one then? I said, oh, I think it got a bit wet, so it takes a cover off and all this water come out of it. He said, wet? He said, I reckon it's been in the river. <laughs> <laughs>